I like wrestling people that I haven't wrestled before. And I like doing new ideas and thinking of interesting ways to combine movement patterns, move sets, smash people's offense, yeah. and work on just misdirection, basically. Hello everyone, I'm Aidan James here from Sports Kida, and I'm joined by none other than John Morrison. How are you doing today? Doing great. Johnny uh, won PW today. Johnny won one pro. Johnny one pro or one, one pro Johnny? Yes. <laughs> so I heard a request for uh, one pro Johnny to take off the jacket. Yeah. We'll start there. There we go. Like that. I'm wearing a shirt underneath though. <laughs> so it might be this one. It is very hot. It is, it is extremely hot in here. Yeah, it's better. Better, yeah. <laughs> yeah, still very hot though. Yeah. <laughs> So I got the shades, like, definitely. Um, yeah, so um, obviously, so we're gonna get straight into these questions. So we've got like, the Walking Dead ending and obviously The Last of Us doing really well currently. What was it like being eaten alive by zombies? Man, uh, well, it sucked. First, first of all, like, it's no fun getting eaten alive by zombies. But let me throw that back at you. Would you rather be eaten alive or just bit? But like a nibble or like well because you, know, you, know, like, you turn then you know if you get bit you turn into a zombie or true. would you rather have it be it that's it i reckon i have to jog it off you know and i'll be fine just just power through the, the bite you know i'll be that one immune guy i didn't that's, realize that's how it works that's what I, that's why that's how it works for me that's how huh. i'm going that, that's my approach good luck with that yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> no uh, it's like a you know rock in a hard place with that really yeah, yeah, yeah. It? yeah. okay <laughs> Um, so um, obviously here at 1PW today, lots of like talent, British talent, you know, um, international talent. And Will Ospreay. And Will, <laughs> Will Ospreay. Um, so, um, I'm just kidding, like the most talented dude ever. Right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so just um, so on that note, like, is there anyone in particular that like you just love to face? And not just 1PW, just anywhere, like. Um, it's like asking Jeff Fox really his favorite redneck joke. I mean, yeah. So. the uh, cool thing about being in the business for two decades, like I have been, is I've gotten to wrestle so many people with so many different styles, and there are, I was gonna say dozens, but really hundreds, maybe even thousands of up and comers with different skill sets and ideas and different ways of looking at the business. And to me, the most interesting thing about wrestling is when two people with different styles and different ideas collide. And um, so, <laughs> for that question, I guess my answer is I like wrestling people that I haven't wrestled before. And I like doing new ideas and thinking of interesting ways to combine movement patterns, move sets, smash people's offense, yeah. and work on just misdirection, basically, which is uh, doing something that your opponent and the crowd doesn't expect. Because when I was a kid, that's what made me stand up and cheer the loudest. When, when the Ultimate Warrior kicked out of the seventh elbow that Macho Man dropped at WrestleMania Five, I, I couldn't believe it. And um, I think that's what I like to do now, now yeah. that I'm in the driver's seat. Oh, of course. So, like, you know, up and coming talent, you're just happy to, you know, work with everyone and get, get stuck in, have some amazing matches. Everyone that doesn't suck. Everyone that doesn't suck. There we go. That's a it's like my uh, my dodge of the, the, the zombie bite question. Yeah, Anyone go. that doesn't suck, yeah. Um, so obviously, like, um, so we talking about you, you talked about like the WrestleMania five. But speaking of WrestleMania, what was it like working with Bad Bunny and taking that Canadian destroyer from him at WrestleMania? Um, believe it or not, I've worked with a handful of celebrities, including Kevin Federline and yeah. Snooki and uh, Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny was a lifelong wrestling fan and had so much respect for the business mm. that it was really cool to to be around him and to see the amount of effort that he put into training i mean he, he moved to orlando and put some of his tour dates on hold to to learn the business not even just to like go through the moves and rehearse the match he really wanted to be a part of the business and for that reason it felt really cool to take a Canadian from him because yeah. I feel like he earned it and deserved it. And not every celebrity that takes a part of WrestleMania or participates does. 
Okay, no. Well, you, you're speaking about other celebrities. We can't not talk about Logan Paul then. So, what are your thoughts on Logan Paul? Um, let's see. I don't think he has very good defense. Um, he doesn't really use his jab nearly enough. Um, he's wide open for, for check hooks and body shots. I'm pretty sure I'd knock him out in like the third round. Yeah. So we, we're going we're going straight fight with this one. No, well, you're asking a wrestling, a wrestling question. Wrestling. Well, there we go. You answered it. Straight. We're going. We're having a. Here we go. Your MMA versus. Uh, no, I was Logan. talking boxing. Boxing. You want to go straight Logan, boxing? Logan Paul's a boxing guy. Jake's the of MMA course. guy. Yes. Yes. Of course. Um. So um. Okay. So obviously we had everyone had a hard time with the pandemic. Like, yeah. how did you find everything change for you in the pandemic? Obviously, like going from. You know the no fan shows to having you know to the release how did it all work how was it how did it feel what was going through your head i mean first of all i was i was tag teaming with the miz so no fans is not really that different <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just kidding. It, 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 it uh it was bizarre because to me um this business is based on the fact that fans are there and they contribute i mean that's why Part of the reason I fell in love with it when I was a kid, like I forced my dad to drive me to the Great Western Forum. My friends, all of our families would like take turns, like uh, whose mom or dad's gonna have to suck it up and take the neighborhood kids to the event this week. Um, it's almost like the tools of professional wrestling are like you, your opponent, if there's a tag team, the other tag team, the referee, the ring, and the crowd. Yeah. And and without the crowd. It's uh, it's a very different beast. Yeah. Um. um okay. Then we'll like let's, um, let's get, ask some more questions about yourself, Johnny. It's like so. We like to ask um, just a sports kid to love these sort of question. What are your um? <laughs> so um, like films and TV, pop culture. What have you what have you been watching recently? What what was the last film you went to the theater to see? You know, I haven't been to the theater in a very long time. You want to but I will guy. say I'm excited to see Cocaine Bear. Yes. Um, <laughs> man, it's one of those movies that I wish I made. My uh, uh, my my wife and I made a poster for this movie called Barricane. Um, basically, I mean, you, you get it. The hurricane hits Revelstoke, Canada, the ice caves melt, and then the bears are in the hurricane. It's kind of like Sharknado, only, only better. <laughs> um, but I, I, I kind of enjoy campy thrillers, but that are well done. And that's what that movie looks like to me. Oh, okay, yeah. It, it looks like the, the scares are going to be really scary. The uh, the CGI is going to be good. Unless they really made a bear eat cocaine. I which think, I can't <laughs> see happening. I feel like Peter would... I think they'd go for a few bears. Like, if, yeah. You know, they'd have to just... And have... probably a few actors, too. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so CGI probably is what we're talking about. Yeah, so the okay, um, and that like uh, another one I saw recently was Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, I which uh, I thought was fantastic. It's not a thing that you passively watch, but it combines two of my favorite things. One is over the top action. Um, I know a bunch of the stunt guys that worked on that, and two is uh, just really heartfelt storytelling. It's like. I kind of got emotional at the end of it because really the story is about um, mom's relationship with her daughter. And, and um, of course, it gets into like bizarro alternate realities okay. and fighting and all this crazy stuff and dildo nunchucks and things. <laughs> but at heart, it's a it's a story. And similar to uh, professional wrestling, the story is told with violence, <laughs> but it's based on emotion. And it, it made me feel. And um, I think that's what entertainment does at its best. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, so um, also, so here at 1PW today, your match, how are you feeling going into your match today? I'm feeling really bad for my opponent. <sighs> Poor guy. <laughs> um, really excited. Uh, this, this venue seems fantastic. Um, I mean, you guys all here, nobody seems like they suck. <laughs> no, yeah, everyone, it, everyone's good. You hey, you're all right. The other John, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone but that guy. Everyone but <laughs> there we go. Everyone but John. For the most part, I yes. mean, that's a win. Ninety-nine percent of the people here are awesome. No, uh, this this venue um, 
it's gonna be packed. The crowd is live. The uh, the roster is extremely talented. Um, I'm, I'm excited to perform here. I haven't been to the UK in a in a while, and I'm um, really excited to come back, or to be back, and um, I'm excited to come back again after this too. This is one of those places that really appreciates the intricacies of wrestling, and it's something that I'd almost call myself a, like a, a physical nerd because I study a lot of different movement disciplines, capoeira, muay thai, collegiate wrestling, catch wrestling, amateur wrestling, and try to combine all that stuff. And here in the UK, I think wrestling fans appreciate that. So um, my last question, and uh, I'll let you get back out of this like really hot room. Um, put your jacket back on. And um, the subway. And eat, and eat your subway, that's the main thing. <laughs> um, so I wanted Nando's. <laughs> I think there is one. There was one. Like, there was one close. There was no. Oh. I don't want to throw my wife under the bus, but oh, so it's her. Who you know? There we go. That's all, that's all I know. So last question. Here we go. So just kidding, Dave. I love you. <laughs> she's gonna see this, and it's gonna be a very awkward ten-hour yeah. uh, plane ride back. No, hopefully she's just not talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what are the chances of us seeing you in either WWE or AEW anytime soon? Um, you know what? I would say. Definitely, like, good, but there's no definite answer to that question. And I think that's one thing that's interesting about wrestling. Um, what happens and when and why, it sometimes comes down to the most talented people and sometimes comes down to opportunity, meeting luck, right place, right time. And um, if there's anything I've learned about that, question that type of thing it's that uh, this business comes in waves and um, sometimes you catch a wave and you get a nice ride and it's over and then you have to wait for the next one and uh, when the next wave for me comes I'm gonna thrash it, I'm gonna thrash it yeah, definitely well thank you so much for coming I'm gonna let you get back and let you get back to your lunch um, everyone here obviously thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to come sit with us yeah <laughs> Yeah, so here we go. Um, I'll let you. I'll let you escape. We're off to um, get ready for your match later on tonight. Thank you again so much for sitting down with it us. Is it?